guys, welcome back to the Coco channel and to another Tutorial Tuesday video. I know this video is up a little bit later, but you saw earlier in the day I did my gender reveal video. Um, so I promised you guys I was going to put it up on Monday and because of tragic events, I did not. Um, so I decided to put that up Tuesday morning and this up Tuesday night. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so expressive with my hands. Uh, so this one is like kind of a somber chit chat ready, chit chat ready go with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it either way. It's a very fall look using the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette from Storybook Cosmetics. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Let's get started. Um, I'm gonna use a different primer because it's been sitting in my little primer thing and I finished my Becca one. Um, it's uh, the Estee Lauder Illuminator Radiant Perfecting Primer and Finisher. I'm interested to see if it's like really illuminating. Oh yeah, it definitely has like a uh, shimmer. I already filled in my pores with my Makeup Forever one, so. <sighs> Today's Monday. And you can already probably guess what's coming. Like in a very solemn mood because my hometown of Las Vegas was attacked. I'm gonna go in with my new Neutrogena. My CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast. I know I use the same foundation, but it's my holy grail, so that's usually what happens. Uh... I am very fortunate in the fact that all of my friends and family are accounted for. My husband's parents still live just outside of Vegas and his younger brothers, he has three younger brothers and he has an older sister who has two children and very thankfully uh, none of them were down there. I have a, one of my really close friends who works at Mandalay Bay who I could not get a hold of this morning and I was freaking out but his mom actually uh, texted me to let me know that he was okay so um, my best friend Chris wasn't down there thank god that like I have a lot of friends in Vegas that I still talk to actually not on a regular basis um, but that I try and see every time I'm there. But out of anybody, like, I was, oh, man, I was so scared about my best friend, Chris. Ugh. So I was, like, I woke up, actually, to a message from somebody that I used to work with in D.C. Um, at Joanne's. And she just said, hey, I just heard about Vegas. Wanted to make sure you or family and friends were okay. And I was like, what the hell? And that was at 6 something this morning. And then my phone, like, auto-updated. The iOS number 11 or whatever. And so I was like, well, shit. You know, I could have came out. But Aiden wasn't awake yet. And so I was like, well, I'll just lay here for a little bit until my phone finishes. And I fell back asleep. And so I was like woke up and the first thing I did was like start scrolling through Facebook looking for everyone and I couldn't find everyone and so I like made a post and not everyone responded and I was like oh my gosh specifically my friend that works at Mandalay Bay whose name is also Chris um and so I was like kind of losing it I was like oh my gosh what's gonna happen you know and then I watched the president do his speech which I just have to commend him on because it's been so long in our country that somebody has like quoted the Bible number one and has you know what I mean expressed deepest condolences and is actually gonna go there instead of playing golf not to get political but I'm just saying it, it's refreshing that you have a president that actually gives a shit. Excuse my language. But that's how I feel today. Um, that was the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm going to go in with the Translucent Light Cover Effects Powder. Because I hear it's amazing. I don't understand these. Like, how are you supposed to get powder out? I really don't understand. Why 
they have covers on them. Actually, this one's much better than the Too Faced one. So anyways, got a hold of him. And um, everybody else, for the most part, like everyone I can think of like, has responded to me, so I'm glad. And thankfully, I don't have a lot of friends that listen to country music. And I'm not digging on it. Like, I just don't. That's not, it wasn't our scene. And so, but I have a lot of friends that work on this strip. Like, my best friend Chris, his sister-in-law works down there. And then, like I said, my other friend Chris works down there. My friend, oh God, just a couple of my friends work down on the strip. So, I just don't understand. Like, there are so many other people in the world that literally hate us as Americans, wish us harm, whether you're innocent or not, whether you're a Trump supporter or not, whatever the case is. So why are like our own people doing this? Is it like that big of an epidemic with mental illness? Like, is it, what is it? I, I know it's pure evil. The president was right on that. Absolute pure freaking evil. But why, why? It just breaks my heart. It really does. I mean, there were, what did they say? 200 and something thousand people there? Like, Vegas, believe it or not, is like kind of a small town. I know it doesn't seem that way, but everybody pretty much knows everybody. And so, the chances of you not knowing somebody who was affected are slim. Anyways. The only new bronzer I have is this NARS palette that I showed you guys from the 21 Days of Beauty. So I'm going to use it. I'm gonna use Laguna. Okay, I'm going to try and bring myself out of this mood. So let's talk about something a little bit more exciting. So today is Tuesday. By now, I think by the time this goes up, I will have already put up my gender reveal video. Which is just so exciting. I can't even tell you how amazing... The party was. The party was so good. This is not looking very nice. I think I need to be a little bit more precise with it. It's looking like really orange, which is weird because Laguna usually isn't. Even though there was only two people there, aside from like me and Andrew and my parents who all lived together, <laughs> it was just Andrew's aunt and uncle and his aunt's the one that obviously makes the cake. I don't know why I said obviously. This wouldn't be something obvious to you guys. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this color right here, which can't tell if that's... I think this is Golu. So this must be number one. But I want this like baby pink all over my cheeks. Uh, they brought... They have a great granddaughter who is like three months older than Aiden. She was born in January of the same year. As him and so they get on really really well and they're so cute together and they were just like playing and sh she's around a lot of boys and so she likes to rough house which Aiden's not around anybody except for <laughs> Andrew and I and so he was like what is this girl doing and then he like kind of caught on and he got a little bit too rough <laughs> oh, but it was fun it was a lot of fun um, I'm gonna use my new Becca lilac Geode. Ooh, woo. I was like looking at the Sunday Funday haul and the swatch that I did, like you couldn't see it at all. And it is like super vibrant. I'm sure you can see it better now. Okay, um, I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. We're gonna go in with a new palette. The one I was telling you guys, <laughs> whether you wanted it or not. Uh, this is the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette from the Storybook Cosmetics Company, which is owned by three identical triplet sisters. I don't know why that amuses me so much, but it does. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna do something very fall 
today. I just can't wait. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna take the biggest, fluffiest brush, which is always my Mally Beauty brush that they don't even sell anymore. And I'm gonna go into the color Augustus Gloop. <laughs> Augustus. And I'm gonna run that through my crease as my transition color. It's like the perfect transition color. So while I was doing my brows, I was like texting my best friend Christopher, who lives in Vegas, obviously. I was just talking about him. Um, and we were talking about, you know, how unfair it is that that like sense of security is gone. And he was like, I hate to be one of those people, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to move because of this. Like, it just feels like something bigger is coming and ISIS is already taking responsibility for this, which, you know, I responded like, ISIS takes responsibility for everything. The unfortunate thing is that it was one of our own that did this. Anyways, we already talked about that. Um, and I like posted kind of like a tribute on Instagram, just, you know, saying how sorry I am for everyone that was affected by it. And I was like scrolling and so many people are like, this is exactly why, you know, I don't go to concerts. And even I think Shauna was like, this is why I don't go to Disneyland. This is why I don't do like big events. It's just not safe. And so I kind of wanted to like open a friendly discussion, keyword being friendly people. Um, like, do you feel the same way? Like, is, would this cause you to like move if you lived in Vegas? Would this, you know what I mean? Like, does this deter you to do anything fun outside of your home? Cause my whole thing is no. I feel like if you do that personally, I'm not saying that anybody that feels this way is wrong, obviously. I just personally feel like if I were to do that, that would be them winning. Sorry, I know you guys heard those wind chimes, which is super annoying. Um, almost as annoying as that hair piece. Piece of hair. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the color Oompa Loompa right here on a fluffy It Cosmetics brush and run that just a little bit lower. Me personally, I feel like if I were to deter that from me living in a certain area or visiting certain places like essentially that's like them winning in my opinion you know what I mean they want to instill that fear which don't get me wrong if you were in that situation you know what I mean that is probably the ter most terrifying thing that you will ever encounter but I'm also a strong woman of Christian faith and so I believe personally and this may sound like really poopy, but this is just my personal belief that I wouldn't want to not live life to its fullest for fear of death because no matter where I am, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Whether it's in a car accident, whether it's choking on a chicken wing, or you know what I mean, if I'm one of the unfortunate victims of somebody who decides to take lives. I just feel like no matter where I am, that's predetermined. And so I would not want to not be able to live life and instill that, you know what I mean? Like I don't want them to win and they instill that fear in me where I can't even leave my house or take my kids somewhere amazing, you know what I mean? Or miss out on opportunities if I want to see my favorite band playing, I don't know. That's just my personal thoughts. Again, if you feel differently, I'm not saying you're wrong. You probably have very, you know what I mean, your strong feelings of why you feel the way you feel. But that's just how I feel, personally. personally. Um, now I'm gonna go in with Snowsberries, which is this one right here, and put that just a little bit lower. Actually, I think I might put that all over the lid. That is so pigmented. 
I'm like barely even putting my brush in there. Yes, 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 yes. So anyways, tell me what you feel like. Like if you're just like, why put your kids in that danger or you know what I mean? Like whatever your stance is on it, I respect you either way. And I hope you have the decency to do the same for other people's opinions, including my own. Because we're just sharing. We're just we're just sharing here. Look at that fallout. Woo! Uh, anyways, back to lighter things in life. Not to discount a tragedy, but also don't want to focus on it because I don't want my whole mood for the day to be ruined considering what an amazing, amazing weekend I had. Um, I'm gonna go back in with the Oompa Loompa color, which is actually a little bit more yellow than I thought. Like, I feel like this should be Oompa Loompa because it's more orange. I think that I'm gonna put this up in the evening and do the gender reveal in the morning. So by now you've already seen, I'm having a girl. <laughs> I know that was bothering you, some of you. Uh, I am, I'm having a girl. I can't freaking believe it. I'm sure you saw in the video, like I was convinced, convinced that I was having a boy, like convinced. Going back in with Augustus Gloop, So I don't think I told you guys the story, all of you, that my grandmother, when they, she was in town, actually went with me and my mom to the um, ultrasound, you know, the anatomy ultrasound. And so as soon as we walked in, I told the technician, like, I do not want to know the sex. And she was like, oh, okay. And so, you know, regardless of if I want to know or not, she has to write it on the screen for the file, you know? And so she's like, okay, you know, I'm getting ready. I see what the baby is. And now I'm going to write it on the screen. So if you don't want to know, look away. And my grandma was sitting there and she's like, I'm gonna look, cause I'm not gonna be there for the gender reveal. And so, she was literally, her and the technician were the only ones in the world, and God, <laughs> and the baby, who knew what it was. Um, I'm gonna go in to Golden Ticket and put that on the center of my lid. Using my finger, because that's what I always do with shimmer. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, you know, she was here, that was on a Wednesday, and she was here Thursday, and then early, early Friday morning is when we took her back home, and we were there all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then we got up Sunday morning and left. Well, this lady, uh, I'm gonna go into Wonka Bar and put that on my lower lash line very tightly against my lashes. It even smells like chocolate, just so you guys know. Uh, she like let a couple things slip, like a couple of times. This brush is like super scratchy. It's an elf brush. I don't like it. Um, Cause we were like talking one night, I think while we were still here and we were talking about baby names and so you know we told her we already had one picked out for a girl and we told her what it was and why we picked it this this and that she's like well you have to have boy names and I was like did you just tell me it was a boy she's like no no and I was like oh my gosh you know so I already felt like it was a boy from the beginning I don't know why. I think just because I wanted a girl so bad, I was like, I'm going to have another boy. Like, I'm going to be one of those moms of all boys, which I would absolutely love. I would. Don't get me wrong. I would get lonely. I would have to wait until the boys were like 
28 before they had like girlfriends uh, that I could, you know, connect with. So the, I was just like convinced, you know, and then she let that slip and then she let something else slip about it being a boy. And so I was like, we never should have let her look. <laughs> and so I'm going to buff that out with the orange, whatever's left on my brush. I'm not going to pick up anything else. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of Wonka bar on my outer corner because I don't, I'm not loving. I feel like the gold is almost blending into Oompa Loompa. And so it looks like the letter T. <laughs> so, and then just right through my crease. And I'm doing this like very, very, very softly. Cause I don't want to like completely change the color of what's going on. Cause I'm actually quite loving it aside from what I said. It would look like a T a little bit. I'm having some issues with that gold and actually all the colors like blending away. I'm not going to lie just because I love this company, you know what I mean? And I'm, a strong supporter of small businesses like I'm not gonna be like it's the best thing in the world if it's not and it like it just keeps blending away I don't understand every time I like go to put down another color it's like picking up what I laid down before that it's so crazy like seeing myself in warm colors because if you've been with me for a while you know I just don't wear them and so I actually I'm starting to fall in love with them and I picked the perfect time of year to do it because it's fall time. Okay. Um, oh, I want to put an inner corner highlight. <laughs> and I'm going to use that using the color Charlie Bucket, which is this like bright white color. So anyways, she like had me convinced as well that it was a boy. And so <laughs> I like told Andrew, I was like, did I tell you about my grandma slipping and telling me it was a boy on accident and she, he was like no why did you tell me that and I was like oh sorry I like ruined it for him too not on purpose I'm put that right under my brow bone as well so him and I like you know what I mean not just convinced like we we knew we knew it was a boy because she let it slip that it was a boy come to find out she's sneaky as hell I actually really really like that a lot I don't care if it's too colorful I'm glad I'm doing colorful looks lately I was like stuck in neutral land for a long time but this is definitely like I love it <laughs> I'm gonna use the new candy Johnson I want candy Too Faced eyeliner just to see how it is that night that even his aunt came over for the reveal and uncle uh, <laughs> she was like even Kind of being a trickster, like saying it was a a boy. I love how black that is. Look at how black that is. Holy cow! It's really, it's really, really, really black. But it's like hard to get a skinny line. Like that's a thick, thick liner. Let me see if I can do something with this. Let's see. So I actually hate it. Um, I cannot get a straight line because that thing does not maneuver at all. And I also can't get them to match. So I'm going to take this off and put on my physician's formula and I'll be right back. I'm going to have to start all over and do my eyeshadow all over. Because that's how today is going to go. That was a pain in the freaking butt, dude. And my eyeshadow didn't even turn out the same way I had it. It's like, I look so... I don't know what. And I... This eye is like having a reaction to the eyeliner I'm using, so it's like bleeding into the corner of my eye. But um, I just threw on my Lash Blast uh, mascara from CoverGirl, their orange original one. And I have Marc Jacobs highliner in black on my waterline. So I'm going to go in with a new lipstick, but I did wear this at the gender reveal and I liked it so much. Uh, this is the Dosa Colors liquid lip in the color Bury Me. For all of you, for all of those wondering what was on my lips, I had my Dior Sugar Scrub. That's why it looks all white and weird. Yeah. Can you say fall? So that's the finished look. I know I've already worn this shirt like 10 times in videos, but it's officially October and I can wear this out in public without feeling like a, 
uh, Pariah. My son's wearing a Halloween outfit as well. We're going out. We're getting out of the house. We're not going to sit here and wallow. I'm really sorry for the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tone of the video, I guess. Um, you know, I think it's very natural for you to feel this way when a tragedy occurs. Especially if it's somewhere that's close to home. Or is home. <laughs> uh, so... My son's playing with sunglasses and just twerking those buttons, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the look either way. You got some ideas for maybe a palette that you have with some other colors. Uh, if you're looking for a fall look, it's fall-ish. I mean, I'm, I'm really not the best at makeup, but I really enjoy it. And I know that you guys really enjoy these chit chat get ready with me's. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Because it's been sitting. You know when to try it. Ooh, what the hell? How the hell does this work? Um, this is really big. Oh. My son is on my last nerve. I really do love this lip color. I'm not gonna lie.